do you know what I want? An original Apple One. $1.8 million Canadian? Oh my goodness. Yeah, who has that kind of money? There's got to be a cheaper way. So if you want to experience an Apple One in 2021, you can either buy a real Apple One for like $1.5 million, or you can build like an Apple One compatible kick computer like the PE6502. You can actually build a replica of an original Apple One, although the original parts are becoming quite hard to find. You can just run an emulator. And then there's my favorite option, you can use this piece of software called Green Delicious for the Commodore 64 and it essentially turns your Commodore 64 into an Apple One and it's super cool and I want to take a look at it in today's video. Looking at the directory for the disk, you can see there's a few different options here for whether you want BASIC to be preloaded or not because BASIC had to be loaded from tape on the original Apple One whereas here you can have it preloaded when you run the Apple One and I know it says that it's an emulator here but I would hesitate to call it that because both the Apple One and the Commodore 64 share a common sort of CPU architecture. They're both based around the 6502, so it actually is running on real hardware. All of the Commodore 64 is really emulating is the display and the keyboard, but it's running natively on the 6502 processor, which is super cool. So this is not really an emulator, I call it more of like a compatibility layer. As you can see at the bottom we've got a few different games that this comes with too. Take a look at those later. So now let's run the program here. We are now in Wasmo, which is a pretty primitive machine language monitor. And it's essentially the Apple One's operating system. It fits into only 256 bytes of ROM. And we can type things. They redefined some characters here, so it matches the original Apple One font. As you can see, they changed the cursor to look like the old Apple logo, the old rainbow apple, which that's just to make it easier to read. The original Apple One had like the at sign for the cursor. You can toggle back and forth by pressing F5. And you can also toggle between different like monochrome CRT emulation colors by pressing F3. One cool thing about the Apple One is you can pretty much start coding in machine language as soon as you power it on. Definitely don't see that with modern computers. One handy thing about this program is that BASIC is pre-loaded so you don't have to load it from tape and it starts at memory location E1000. And now we're in BASIC here. Let's write a little program. I love watching text being drawn to the screen on an Apple One doesn't work like most other computers. On an Apple One, it's basically like a terminal. So it draws in like one line at a time. So that's pretty neat. It's fun to watch it sort of draw in. So now I want to show you how you can like load and save programs. So normally F7 resets WASMOD, you can see by the slash there. But if you press and hold it, you get this very green screen here to load and save different programs. You can save lo load a program, save low RAM, save extended RAM, save high RAM, and to press return it just takes us back to the Apple One. We're going to press F1 here and load something. Let's just load dollar sign which gives us a directory. And uh, I don't know, let's load Lunar Lander. As you can see it has the memory address where it is loaded into. Press enter to return to the Apple One. And we're going to go memory address 300. And then we're going to go R for run. We are now into Looter Lander. This is a kind of an interesting game. It's got, it'll really make you want to throw away your PS5s, just throw them into a dumpster fire. And that's so we got stuff like time, how long we've been flying, got height, speed, velocity, how much fuel we have, and that asks us how much fuel we want to burn. I don't know, let's burn 
nine fuel units. As you can see, we've gained some height, uh, less height. I've totally figured out how to play it. Okay, that's just about it for Green Delicious and running Apple One stuff on a Commodore 64. Hope you found this a bit interesting. I'll have a link below in the description as to where you can download the software. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.